Kamusta? Today, I will show you how to inspect and service the front disc brakes on a Toyota Wigo. Ito yung mga kailangan natin. Flex handlebar, half inch drive. 21mm deep socket. Ratcheting wrench. 14 millimeter socket brake lubricant or anti-seize silicon paste maliit na brush hydraulic crocodile jack kung wala kayo nito you can also use the floor jack that came with the car jack stands bungee cords brake piston separator wrench torque wrench half inch drive gloves at malilinis na basahan magamitin tayo ng tissue we will also check the owner's manual Siguraduhin na kapatay ang makina, nakaset sa park ang shift lever, at nakataas ang emergency brake for safety purposes. We are now ready to loosen the wheel nuts. So get your 21mm deep socket at a flex handlebar. Turn the bolts counter clockwise to loosen them. Huwag tanggalin, luwagan lang. And get your uh, crocodile jack, lift the vehicle, itabi ang jack stand, at ibaba ito. Do the same process sa kabilang side. Use your deep socket to remove the bolts completely. Tanggalin ang gulong. There's a caliper guide pin na kailangan nating luwagan sa taas. So get your 14mm socket and wrench. Then break the bolt loose. Partially hand open it. Ito rin ang gagawin natin sa caliper pin sa baba. Remove the pin. Tanggalin din ang pin sa taas. Lilinisin natin ang mga ito maya maya. But first, get your uh, bungee cord. Isabit ang kabilang dulo sa strut coil springs ang kabila doon sa caliper para hindi bumagsak at hindi ma-strain yung brake hose sa likod. Linisin ang caliper guide pins using a tissue paper. Then get your uh, silicone paste, pahira ng brush, at ipahid sa mga pins. Dapat silicone paste, hindi petroleum base grease. Kasi nasisira yung rubber boot kapag petroleum base grease yung ginamit. That's the outer brake pad. At yun naman ang brake piston. Tatanggalin na natin ang brake pad na ito. Use the tip of the jack handle or a flat head screwdriver to loosen the clip. Napakadumi. You will also remove 
the inner brake pad. Compare the two, check if they're wearing evenly, dapat pantay silang napukudpon. Pag hindi, may problema. This is a brake pad gauge tool, yung green, ibig sabihin okay na okay. Yung dilaw, okay pa. Yung pula, dapat mo nang pag-isipang bumili ng bagong set ng brake pad. Yung sa akin, nasa okay pa. These are brand new ceramic brake pads na merong 10mm of materials on each of them. Patanggalin na natin ang rotor para linisin ang mga clips holding the inner brake pad. Get your rag at linisin ito ng maigi. Kunin ang brake lubricant or anti-seize lagyan ang mga holders na ito. So, the brake pad will uh, move nice and easy. Clean the backing plate. Clean uh, everything that you can clean sa paligid ng uh, hub. Ibabalik natin ang rotor for now. Ilinisin na natin ang brake pads. Using a wet rag, clean the pads as much as you can. Lagyan ng uh, anti-seize lubricant ang backing plate ng brake pads. Remove the rotor. We will now install the inner brake pad. And you can only install it uh, one way. Palabas, paloob. So from the outside, papasok. You cannot install it sa likod. Lagyan din natin ng uh, brake lubricant yung uh, hub para hindi mag uh, weld dun sa metal part ng gulong pag tinabit natin clean the rotor again inside and out and install it put a wheel nut dun sa isa sa mga stud nalagyan din natin ng anti-seize yung uh, hub ng rotor. Merong contact point yung uh, brake pad dun sa part na yun, lagyan din ng anti-seize. We're now using uh, the piston separator wrench para itulak papasok yung brake piston. Napakagandang tool na gamitin ito. But if you don't have this, you can use a C-clamp. At gumamit ng uh, brake pad para itulak sa loob. We're now installing the outer brake pad. Ganun lang kadali. Ito bit, ang uh, upper caliper guide pin. Pasok din natin yung uh, sa ilalim. Dapat ganyan kaganda yung galaw ng uh, caliper para magpantay yung uh, pag-upod ng brake pads. Let's torque it. Tamang higpit, hindi maluwag, hindi 
sobrang hindi. Tamang-tama lang. Tanggalin ang uh, bungee cord. Install the wheel. Ilagay ang mga wheel nuts. Itaas ang hydraulic crocodile jack, mas mataas sa jack stand, so you can slide out the jack stand from the undercarriage. And fork the wheel nuts according to spec. We also need to pump the brake pedal for several times hanggang lumikit yung brake piston sa brake pad. According to the owner's manual, we need to inspect the brake pads in this uh, every 10,000 kilometers or 6 months, whichever comes first. Meron akong brake cleaner but I found out that uh, you can get by even without a brake cleaner. Kailangan mo lang ng mga basang basahan. I hope marami kayong natutunan and I hope it will challenge you to inspect and service the front disc brakes on your Toyota Vigo soon. God bless you and I'll see you soon.